Hey, happy Friday, everyone. It's Meredith. I'm here with the message for, I think it's the 28th of January. I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, uh, we're using hmm, a deck I'm not sure I've ever used here on the channel, but it is called Three Trees Tarot. It's so beautiful. Hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Our first oracle card of the day from the Work Your Light deck, and you know the question is, how is our soulful presence illuminating our conscious awareness? So what's going on there? We have Leap. Oh, I like that. You go first. The universe will catch you. <laughs> That's true, and I like this message because we're being encouraged to keep the faith this week for what's going on behind the scenes. You know, we said yesterday, or the cards were pointing out yesterday, that when it looks like nothing's happening, everything's happening. So here, we can take a leap within ourselves. Uh, you know, we are in a retrograde. So energetically speaking, in a hmm, vision quest of sorts, or a visualization meditation type thing, See yourself taking a leap toward the very things that you're nurturing in heart space, which we've talked a lot about the past couple of days. Uh, you may see evidence of momentum in that direction by investing in yourself that way in a visualization, in meditation. Yesterday's message had a lot to do with being still and preparing. Um, so... It's wonderful to be in that space because it's relaxing, it's revitalizing, and then within your mind's eye, <laughs> within the power of your own heart, you're contributing energy toward an outcome that is really favorable and satisfying to you. So what does the natural world have to say to us? What is nature attempting to inform us of? And we have thunder. Ooh, I like this. Did I put that card back upside down? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Take a leap. Take a flying leap. Okay, and the natural world is bringing us thunder. I like this too because what does thunder do? It shakes. It rattles our bones, you know. Uh, it rocks the foundation. It's a change up of energy that will appear suddenly and disappear just as suddenly. So... You know, taking a leap like this in the mind's eye or in the visualization for manifestation, that could be the thunder. This could be the very energy that starts to rock your world and put even more momentum into what's unfolding for you at this time. So we may be in a period of reflection and rest and relaxation. This is a contribution toward what's going on behind the scenes. I also feel... <laughs> Just going to throw this out there, a magnetic draw toward the magic that you are. So bring, allow yourself to be pulled. Allow yourself to be drawn into your own magic and create, co-create. Another message this week, remember, was that life is happening for you. Not at you or to you. <laughs> it's a good consideration. So let's take a look at the tarot cards. Our first is, what is that? The Nine of Pentacles. Sweet. Oh, that's so neat, actually. So many folks consider the Nine of Pentacles to be uh, like the Hermit card and that it speaks to being solitary. For those of you who look at these readings in terms of relationship, this is the single person card, you know, not connected, not in relationship. I don't feel that way about this card at all. I feel that this card points out our, our interdependence, not codependence, because we're not looking outside of ourself for some kind of fulfillment. We know that we are the fulfillment. And that may be the magnetic pull to the magic that we are right there confirmed by the Nine of Pentacles. Knowing that you are connected to all things, knowing that you are a vital part of this universe, that's the Nine of Pentacles. 
In traditional tarot, it is the single happy person who's got it all nailed down, all squared away, uh, a self-made individual, a self-made person. And nobody gets there alone. <laughs> so I don't ever see this card as the single solitary. This is about the connections we have and the collaboration we do within our beautiful tribe of souls that travel with us and we with them, right? So this is how you stand out in self-relationship. Hmm, consider that. And really be at peace with it. It's an accomplishment. I really feel like the Nine of Pentacles is such an accomplishment within self-relationship. You're strong, you're sturdy, you're on a good foundation, you're sovereign to self. And this creates tremendous opportunity and avail availability to share with all in your sphere of influence. Our next card is the Six of Cups. Ooh, we've had this card this week too. You know, the Six of Cups is a channeling card for me as a tarot reader. It's really drawing on your inner wisdom, your soulful presence, which is busy taking the leap over here. <laughs> so fly, fly and be free. The Six of Cups also speaks to connection, collaboration, within your soul family. It is considered the soulmate card. And if you bring this into the realm of relationship, as mentioned previously, you're bringing your interdependent self to your most important relationships. You have a lot to offer, you have a lot to share. There is no codependency here at all between these cards. This is a free will choice in your stable sovereign self to share the love that you are, perhaps with someone very special and they're doing the same. So that could be confirmation for some of you. And then we have, oh, nice, the Emperor. What a gorgeous card, right? Look at this beauty. Ooh, that just gives me a little bit of a shiver. The Emperor, I love this card. You know he has the nickname of being the know-it-all, but really in my world, the Emperor is forever a student, forever a teacher. The emperor knows there's always more to know. And this is the kind of energy we wanna bring, our experience, our wisdom. This is what we wanna share. And simultaneously, we want to be on the lookout for more, learning more, expanding more, illuminating more. <laughs> so, I like this. We have two really strong energies in the Nine of Pentacles and the Emperor. And this feels, the Nine of Pentacles feels very feminine to me. And then we have this divine masculine. We've seen a lot of that in the cards in these past couple of readings where we've had the King of Cups. Now we've got the Emperor. We have had the lovers as well, which is us embracing our own inner divine feminine, inner divine masculine. And how beautiful it is that to bring to all of our other connections and our most special relationships. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. This is what's going on in the unseen. Nice. Well, this kind of confirms the thunder card over here. We've got the tower. Beautiful. Well, there's a foundation being rocked. What's underneath that is the Six of Wands. And then, last but not least, the Three of Cups. That's excellent. So we've got thunder shaking, rattling, rolling through our foundation, even rattling our bones, and getting us to the core. And then we have Six of Wands, victory, success, harmony, balance. So that, to me, feels like a victorious takedown of a tower within our own world. We've set ourselves, we've taken a leap, we've set ourselves free in some way because there is a situation, a circumstance that is rocking our foundation. And then we have the Three of Cups, which is such a celebration card, and it's the Two of Cups coming together and making a third thing worthy of celebration. How beautiful is that when you pair it up with the Nine of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the Six of Cups? 
So here again, more confirmation that we have so much to offer because of our inner world, because of our self relationship. So that's where it's at. Do your spiritual journey work there and watch how the whole world opens up and blossoms for you. Mm, I love it. Let's do angel answers. You know this is your opportunity to ask a question of the cards. This is the energy atmosphere speaking with us. Emphasis on with. <laughs> this is us talking to the universe and receiving signs. You may also be looking for confirmation of something in these cards. And we have, look at that. <laughs> Communicate clearly. Hmm. I don't think that needs any explanation at this point. No verbal clutter, folks. Get right to the heart of the matter. Speak your heart. Speak your truth. Ooh, we've got one falling out. Perfect timing. Yeah, trust divine timing, which is nothing to do with the clock or even the concept of time. This is about being in the flow. This is about allowing. So I feel compelled to repeat yet again, there's a whole lot going on behind the scenes. Speak very clearly from your heart space to the divine all that is and trust in the flow. The universe is going to surprise and delight us. One more. I love these repeats lately. Don't stop emphatically. I think we had this one yesterday. So more confirmation. Don't quit now. Take the leap. Even if it's in the, in the mind's eye, if it's not happening exactly in your world, in the 3D earthly plane of existence, do this in heart space. Do this in your own soulful presence because it is a contribution to what you are bringing to life. The seeds that have been planted that are beginning to sprout beneath the soil where we can't see it. And keep the faith in your own self. Thunder, you got to shake things up for yourself every now and then. So go for it. Don't be afraid of rocking your own boat. <laughs> All right, everyone. Have a beautiful Friday. Have a beautiful weekend. Peace, love, joy, blessings, happiness, playfulness. Go have a snowball fight. <laughs> Bye for now. Namaste.